gold. To assay FGF activity, cells of an established BATH3 line expressing a specific FGF receptor splice variant are expanded in culture and then harvested. Cells are centrifuged at 1000G and then washed twice with assay media lacking interleukin-3, G418, and FGF. Cells are resuspended in assay media containing heparin. Cells are then plated in a flat bottom 96 well culture plate at a concentration of 30,000 cells per well in a volume of 150 microliters. The second round bottom 96 well plate is used to make serial dilutions of FGFs to be assayed. Because BATH3's cells lack cell surface heparin sulfate proteoglycans, it is necessary to include heparin at a concentration of 1 to 2 micrograms per mil in the assay media. Fifty microliters of serially diluted FGFs are then transferred from the serial dilution plate to its corresponding well in the cell assay plate. Cells are then incubated for 36 to 48 hours in humidified 5% CO2 at 37 degrees. To quantify cell survival and proliferation, cells are labeled with tritiated thymidine incorporated into DNA. Tritiated thymidine is added to media at a concentration of 1 microcurie per 50 microliters. Mixed by pipetting up and down, and then 50 microliters are pipetted into each well of the assay plate. Cells are then incubated for 4 hours and humidified 5% CO2 at 37 degrees. Cells are then filtered through glass fiber filter paper using a semi-automated cell harvester. The filter is then placed in a bag with scintillation fluid. Sealed. And then counted on a beta plate counter.
The CPM incorporated into cell DNA is used as a measure of cell growth.